Time now, 608. The Biden administration has announced a sweeping set of executive actions to improve child care. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres is live in the studio with a closer look at how this will help families with children. This order includes more than 50 directives to cabinet level agencies to take steps towards fixing the nation's child care and long term term care system. President Biden believes that as a country, we must secure significant new federal investments to transform care. The White House administration believes that too many families and individuals struggle to access affordable, high quality care they need for their children. The cost of child care is up 26% in the last decade and more than 200% over the past 30 years. The result is many Americans, particularly women, stay out of the workforce to care for their families, making it hard for businesses to attract and retain a skilled workforce and the economy to grow. This push will act as a workforce incentive to help families rejoin the workforce and provide their kids with adequate care. 22 News spoke with one local child care facility in Springfield about the significance of this essential funding. We also know that many employers can't operate their business unless they have folks ready, willing, and able to come to work. And that means a safe and healthy place for your child to go. So it's exciting for Square One to think about our future and what we can do to partner to expand those opportunities, addressing the critical age of learning for children. So ultimately, the goal is to make child care and long term term care accessible and affordable for families. One of the ways they intend to do this is by lowering costs for families benefiting from the child care and development block grant program by directing the Department of Health and Human Services to consider actions to reduce or eliminate families co-payments for child care. Melissa, how will this help military families? While it'll help them in many ways, the White House plans to direct the Department of Defense to take steps to improve the affordability of child care on military bases. Additionally, all federal agencies will review opportunities to expand employee access to child care services through federal child care centers, child care subsidies, or contracted care for providers. Working for you this morning, Melissa Torres, 22 News.